here it is, Gateway to Miami. Port of Miami. Actually, it serves all of Central South Latin America. Amazing port. Ships come here from all over the world. China through the Panama Canal and then feed into Colombia, Curacao, all the different locations in the south. be navigating directly in the middle of the city because the Miami River goes all the way from this entrance which behind us is government cut all the way up the river almost to the airport okay this is not a photo shop check it out someone knows what's that it looks scary to me look at the Sun something is really wrong here have you seen something like that before? Alright, entrance to Miami. We have to look classy going downtown. We're going to the city. The river runs all the way down the center of Miami. It's where the original settlers came. But uh, it's a water gateway for restaurants, boats, all of the uh, marina services, harbors, even boat yards that do a servicing are all up the river. It's also where all the trap, trap, <laughs> all the trap craps. <laughs> it's where all the crab trap fishermen and uh, other fishermen for all of the restaurants, all their boats up the river. So we'll be able to show you a lot of that. Here it is, gateway to Miami. Checking if the bridge clearance is fine so we can get through the bridge without its opening. <laughs> so we should be fine. Should be fine, right? We have mega yacht on the right and on the left that yellow boat is actually can come to your boat and fill it with the gas and in the middle there is this little funny boat that just goes somewhere who knows where. People here live a little bit differently. They do dress up and um, instead of South Beach and Miami Beach where people always wear swimsuits and it's kind of like very laid back. Here on the other side it's more like a kind of New Yorkish vibe. Okay, next bridge. Still should be able to get through. Let's check it out. You can see there there is a market. William is complaining over there that with Don Hunter we wouldn't be coming through any of this. We would have to open all of them. That's okay. As far as you have sales, that's what's important. 
Miami is full of contrasts like that. Here is like almost abandoned, nice little house, all kinds of crap in here. And here is a perfectly done lawns and modern building. Miami is like that all over the place. To our starboard side, we have a little tiny crab location where you can get crab, lobster, fresh fish. You pull up in your boat, they throw it on the back, and you pay by the pound. A bunch of little secrets like this up the river. Currently, all of them are closed due to current situation, but usually they're super busy. Back in the day, Miami Vice was true here. That's why you hear sirens every 10 minutes. And it still goes on today. The restaurant right there is one of the most fancy places on the Miami River. It's called Kiki and uh, tea spice, two of them. And both of them are like super expensive, super fancy, and people usually come there with their boats, park that, and party. Check it out. Kiki on the river, super nice location. Right next to it, a bunch of things that are super rusty. This is Don Johnson country for those of you that used to watch Miami Vice. It's where the boats always hung out doing the drug exchange. This is a brand new uh, large Merrill Stevens boat yard going in where you'll drive a huge ship inside. The ship will drive inside and it'll raise the ship up with hoists. The ones that are too big to go on heavy lifts. Somewhat here we almost, uh, because of our transmission broke, we almost backed up in someone else's boat. William was screaming, get the pole, get the pole, you're gonna hit the boat. I'm like, how am I gonna do something with a pole if we have 60 ton boat? Well, today is a better day, hopefully. That's where I want our boat to be. I can watch it from our kitchen window. Hmm, not sure if I'm gonna be watching boat or William. We can make. Uh, uh, yeah. We can put our because there's no real poles out here. I thought they were further out. Our boat has a dinghy in them. Maybe I'm gonna spend at least one hour tying the boat, as he always does. You got it in Sailor Man? 
No, it actually came with this boat. The original items. Trying to put this boarding letter. He hands me this rope and now I'm a bridge operator. That's what I like about boating. I never know what I'm doing next. Or maybe that's just living with William. Half an hour later, we're still trying to lower the dinghy because it's all rusted away and William has 500 straps on it. So it's safe and secure. Meanwhile, there are hungry people here waiting for lunch. That table reminds me of bananas. Maybe because I'm hungry. <laughs> You're always hungry, that's your middle name. I'm getting used to sailboat rations. Remember when you gave me my egg this morning and I said you should eat the other one? We're not hungry at all. I think we have to put the ladder so it doesn't catch on the dock and rip our steps off. Because as the boat comes through, it's going to hit all those things. Right now, Why everything has to be so complicated on boats? <laughs> This would be somehow full. Yeah. Allow you. Thank you again. All right, one more line, and you can disembark. Okay. As I expected, two hours later, letter has been attached. Let it test her. something really special. William brother sent him inside the line of a deer. Mm, yummy. So we posted our first video today and we were both watching it while frying this beautiful <laughs> zucchini. So we made zucchini chips instead of zucchini. <laughs> Ready to be eaten.